Hey guys, welcome back to another Psychic Celluloid Signals mini review. Psychic Celluloid Signals Personal Review. In this review, I'm checking out the 1999 horror comedy Lake Placid. Lake Placid gets right into the gore in a great scene where a fish and game officer is literally bitten in half. I love how he was still kind of alive when the other officer pulled him into the boat. It was just so creepy to me. Amidst the human carnage, a strange tooth is found, which I guess means they need to call a paleontologist, Kelly, who's played by Bridget Fonda, to fly in and check it out. I'm not sure if I liked Kelly complaining about the trouble of camping, like mosquitoes and sleeping in tents. I know it was meant to show the audience how the characters were from different worlds, but I guess I just didn't completely like the, uh, the approach. The creature was pretty badass, though. The croc got in a good amount of carnage without being over the top, which I appreciated. I was also glad to see that this was a straight-up crocodile. Sure, it was freaking massive, but you could actually fight it. The monster doesn't come back from the dead, but it sort of has a way of coming back again, which leads me to Betty White. Betty White in a horror movie? Hell yeah. Turns out she takes care of the croc, but of course, and it was like a pet to her. White's character is obviously the comic relief. In my opinion, she delivers some of the best humor. In the beginning, when she's telling the officer that she killed her dying husband with a frying pan in a very matter-of-fact tone, I laughed out loud. After that strange encounter, it comes as no surprise when the croc hunting crew find her feeding a cow to the beast. But let me get back to what I was saying about the crocodile coming back again. This is going to pretty much spoil the end, so if you haven't seen this movie, I recommend checking it out before you see this next part. Okay. The ending scene with Betty White feeding the baby crocodiles, it made me so happy. Maybe it was the Bob Marley music in the background, or maybe it was because they all ate bread like little ducklings. The really awesome thing about the end is that it keeps with the pseudo-realism of this film, while at the same time doing what Jason Voorhees can only do because of his uh, an immortality or, or whatever. It was refreshing to see a monster turn within the bounds of reality for a change. In the end, this film had some chunks of boring dialogue and occasionally felt a bit slow, but I think the humor, the concept, and the fantastic ending made up for that. If you thought this sounded interesting, I highly recommend checking Lake Placid out. Alright guys, thanks for watching my review of Lake Placid. If you liked this review, please be sure to give this video a like. If you're interested in seeing more content by Psychic Celluloid Signals, subscribe. Leave us a comment if you've got some more cool films for me to check out. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for all sorts of random social media content. Links will be in the description. Stay away from the water, guys. Peace.